Bad Idea is the show where we look at misfires, mistakes, and miscalculations from all throughout history. I'm Tony Southcott. And I'm Albert Berg. And today's episode is brought to you by our featured patron, Jesse Newman. Thanks, Jesse. Tony has the bad idea for us this week. Tony, what are we talking about? Well, I will first off want to give a special thanks to Brett Del Simone, who was the one who asked us to cover this. I actually got a few other tweets about it as well. We are talking about Bell Delphine and the selling of bathwater from Twitch and YouTubers. Uh, who is that person you thanked earlier? Can we have their address so everybody can send them, like, dog poop in the mail? <laughs> it's not Bring that this bad. Up? Uh, it's Brett okay. Del Simone. That's a joke, by the way. We do not encourage doxing of any person for any reason. Yes. I mean, you could send him bath water. I, no, you know what? I don't even think I, if I was him, I would e- not even want that. The internet is an infinitely strange place where one can buy just about anything if you search hard enough. If you're willing to dive into the dark web, you can supposedly find anything from hitmen to any drug you could ever desire. On the less salacious side, you can find weird crafts, used underwear, locks of hair, and a whole multitude of other celebrity possessions. After Belle Delphine repeatedly saw the comment, she's so hot I drink her bathwater in her Instagram comments, she decided to jump on the opportunity. And who is Belle Delphine? Belle Delphine is a YouTuber slash uh, Twitch cosplayer... Like, she does a lot on Patreon, where she does her actual lewd photos that she puts out. She was on Instagram with about 4 million followers, but that got banned and is supposedly making a comeback. But she's basically just an internet personality who looks like an anime character and is very popular because of that and her weird quirkiness. So typical, uh, the, the idea of what everybody has in their mind when you say Twitch girl streamer, this is her. Yeah, like the whole like doing weird faces and the like kawaii thing and the pink hair and like schoolgirl outfits, all that sort of stuff. She falls right into that category. She's from South Africa, but she's based out of the UK. And she's basically been doing this for a little while. She's only 19 as well, by the way. So, is she 19 through the whole story? Tony? Yes, the, the story oh, started like two months ago. Oh, good. I thought we were going to have to talk about like w- like what the ramifications of 16 year olds selling their bathwater is thankfully we're not uh, we're not gonna have to get into that topic i'm sure somebody would try it but we don't have to talk about it today the first thing i officially saw bell delphine in was a youtube video on our channel which only has three videos right now i know there used to be more but some have gotten pulled down each one of her videos has over three million hits most of them are over four And it was very strange, to say the least. It featured her making pancakes with her quote-unquote best friend, who was a dead octopus with googly eyes. She also showed the octopus swiping on Tinder, sharing tender moments of cuddling and listening to music, and playing board games. You know, that's a funny video, I gotta say. Based on the description, that's hilarious. It was actually pretty funny. Like, it's, it's very silly and very much like, what am I watching But I didn't regret the four minutes I spent on that, and I regret a lot of YouTube videos that I watch. There's there's way worse out there than (laughs) somebody messing around with the dead octopus and using the tentacle to swipe on Tinder. Yeah. Yeah, and also, like, it was well edited, so the composition wasn't bad. When she started her career, she was a bit more on the mundane side of things. Normal gaming streams and some cosplay modeling got her quite a bit of attention, and then she started kind of letting that weirder side of her personality out, and she exploded from there. It's hard to tell how much of this attitude is a major marketing ploy for attention and how much is actually her. Because nowadays, whenever you see her in any sort of interview or anything like that, it feels like she's amping that up. But it's also so consistent that it might just be who she is. You know, sometimes people kind of hide themselves in a layer of normality. And if you find out that the weird part of you makes the money, you know, you might amp it up a little bit. But I wouldn't necessarily call her out for being fake. I haven't watched any of these videos, Tony. I'm just saying, like, in general, the principle of... You put on a face for people and then, you know, that face can change. And I I don't know that that's necessarily uh, blameworthy. It's kind of like with Poppy. Like, I don't know if you've seen any of those videos. Like, I have. She has a bunch of weird, weird videos. And prior to that, 
she was mostly just like a singer, not really that well known. And then whenever she got into the really weird side of herself, like people paid attention and all of a sudden her music started to sell. I so do I think, think that is an affectation. I can't imagine yeah. she's like that at Thanksgiving dinner with her family. And if yeah, she is, probably I not. feel sorry for them and her. This, maybe? this girl feels a lot more authentic on that front. Bill once said, I'm lucky. Uh, I can do crazy things and get to see the world react to it. And there's definitely enjoyment in that, even if it's sometimes a little scary. I get a bigger reaction to my weirder content, but I think that it's only possible because I also make risque content. She's kind of embracing the fact that people are there because of how she looks, and they're sticking around because of how weird she is. It's a, it's a weird line to walk. It's, I don't... There's this thing where, like, guys who are lonely and, and want girls are angry at women who exploit the fact that those guys are into them. And it's it's like an odd double standard. Like, they, you know, this is a thing that they've got. You know, some people yeah. are good at basketball. Some people are super tall. Some people are really attractive, you, you know. Yeah, sure, he didn't do anything to get that, but, you know, maybe somebody who's really good at games has some genetic thing that makes them better as well, and you just can't, like, quantify that as easily. Yeah, and it also does take discipline to keep that sort of level of attractiveness going most of the time, like, to, to go and work out, to, to eat right, to do all the things that make you fall into the standard norm of what is conventionally attractive. So there is some there, but it is definitely a huge component of genetics. Yeah. But and I, you have I to get deal with those this. guys on the platform if you get popular then you're just the creeps come out of the woodwork and i'm sure that's not like the most fun you could have yeah i'm sure if she even looked at her dms it's some of the most gratuitously awful things being sent to her whenever you've got four million people that are following you there's gonna be some real sick ones in there if nothing else bell knows it how to market exactly what her fans want. She went from that semi-normal attire to embracing what she calls the weird elf kitty girl aesthetic. She went hard into gaming memes and often posts cosplays of a nearly new diva from Overwatch or naughty Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. She's basically just hit that like nerd culture like core pretty hard and she's running along with it. And from what you see with her gaming, you can tell that she's actually pretty well into it herself. This bathwater thing was not the first prank that she ended up pulling on her fans or the first stunt, however you want to look at it. The first major one was that she had promised after a long time that she was going to finally upload some videos to Pornhub. She said that it was time, and whenever she uploaded them, they were actually full-on bait-and-switch videos, in which the title claimed to be something incredibly pornographic, but it turned out to be silly PG-13-level videos. None was of the titles are appropriate her, for like, this podcast. Was it IRL? Or... Yes. Okay, so it wasn't, they, they, she didn't go all the way in the other direction, because I have heard through the Reddit vine that Pornhub is now like an alt YouTube almost, where some people are uploading gaming content and other stuff like that, it has nothing to do with pornography. Yeah, a mod reviewer named MXR, because his videos got demonetized during the adpocalypse, like, uh, he started, he decided that if they're not going to monetize anyway, he's just going to do, like, the full nude mods and everything for his videos and just throws them up there along with his, like, just playthrough stuff. A lot of people are just uploading gaming content. She was not quite doing that. And like I said, none of the titles are appropriate for this podcast. In one of the videos, it just shows her sitting on a bed petting a bunch of roosters, if you can figure out the innuendo there. <laughs> uh, she has video with pie, squirt guns, and various other fake outs that are all over the site. So she just leaned into, like, into that, made a bunch of funny innuendo videos. She's still revealing a fair amount in those. Like, some of those, it's like, that's on the line of pornography, and then it just jumps over to the silly part. So they're, the fans are getting some of what they want, but not exactly what they thought they were going to get. Stunts like this, along with the lewd content she sells, put her over 3,000 patrons. Some of these going up to $3,000 a month for content. Yowza. Yeah. I don't imagine that those stay at that level for very long because it's just like a custom video. But man, there are some people with disturbing amounts of disposable income. When looking for a next publicity stunt and money-making opportunity, she just noticed a trend among her followers. Anytime she posted a bathtub or shower picture, multiple users claimed that they would drink her bathwater. So following in the footsteps of other adult performers, who will sell pretty much anything you can imagine in a jar, 
she made it a reality. Side note, in the research for this, selling bath water is pretty tame. There are hundreds of performers who sell every fluid you can imagine. Some people will even buy their trash. You know, the, it's, the, uh, it's after world. you said every fluid you can imagine, the trash is not, like, a next-level thing. Because I can imagine, uh, like, four fluids? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's also, like, fingernail clippings and all sorts of other weird things well, that wasn't one of the fluids that I, I know i'm just saying about. like you can get mundane stuff and then you can get like all sorts of other things it's a it's a weird world out there on july 1st 2019 bell posted jars of bathwater to her website she labeled it as gamer girl bathwater for all you thirsty gamer boys out there even though she did <laughs> add a disclaimer not to drink it for 30 dollars, you could own a jar of slightly discolored water with floaties in it the jar was nice enough and had a pink Xbox controller on the lid, which I'm sure Microsoft loved that uh, infringement there. Of course, social media basically imploded. The jar sold out in minutes, and all of a sudden, we had a viral hit on our hands. The sheer number of videos, news articles, and more that spawned from this was outrageous, and she saw her patrons shoot way over 4,000 for a brief moment. The stunt was a success, but as the bathwater started to get out to her fans, the negative backlash started to hit, as well as some of the most bizarre stunt videos I've ever seen. A Twitter account claiming to be the Daily Mail tweeted that over 50 people had gotten herpes from the bathwater. The account, which looked like the Daily Mail, but was under the name At Bake Rises, had absolutely no basis for this and was eventually suspended. The attendant effect took hold, though, as I have personally talked to people if they... As I have personally talked to people who asked if I would heard about all the people who got infected by that bathwater. There's, like, several levels of, like, wrongness about that. I mean, the implication... I don't even know if that's how herpes works. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but I'm not a doctor. Uh, and, but the thing is, there's enough There's enough of a doubt there. That and then like, there's I the implication that she definitely that? does have herpes, which I'm assuming is probably not confirmed fact from her. Yeah, like, that's never been confirmed. I, she did have a picture with a small sore on her lip, and it's like, people, people get, get like, cold little sores. zits and cold sores and things like that. A cold sore is a type of herpes, but it's not genital herpes. It's, it's just weird. People are just throwing things like this out there. There is also the side fact here that I, I believe t some form of herpes is insanely common, and if you probably... 90% of people who get tested have it, uh, and it's not necessarily just sexually transmitted, so it's kind of a... What was the... It, it was... It was amped up to sort of create a scare about sexually transmitted diseases when the people who were spreading the rumors knew it was incredibly common anyway and just wanted you to be afraid. Sounds like that could be a bad ideas episode someday. It could be, and I'm saying some of this stuff off the top of my head, so this is not researched and fact-checkable stuff. Feel free to let me know that that was wrong, but there, there's some shadiness about, like, the herpes panic in general. After this, the rest of the YouTube world tried to capitalize on the bathwater prank. Oh, I should have known this was coming. It's totally not what we're trying to do. We're totally not in it for the SEO and trying to be relevant for something that happened less than two months ago. Yeah, tune in next but, week when I talk about a pest that there might be 30 to 50 of that is causing a lot of trouble in a country. And it's yeah, definitely and, the correct you know, one and not... The game that's going to kill Fortnite and all these other things that are very relevant and clickbaity. I didn't, I didn't get see. the hogs, guys. I don't have hogs yet. That'll be a future episode. <laughs> You had people like Johnny Now live streaming his drinking of the bathwater. He put it into a chalice and drank deep, swished it around in his mouth. He did not contract herpes, or at least not from this particular <laughs> stunt. Asterix, as far as we know. <laughs> yes. He Hit had us this up, to Johnny. Say <laughs> he had this to say about the taste. Mmm, surprising aftertaste. It's like a little spice to it. It was very nice. This was worth it. I think this was worth it. Wow. Thank you so much, Bell. Can I'm actually I ask, not sure how much of this... a, a fan he was, but he, like, he's a guy that has, in the past, like, capitalized on anything that was a current meme. So as soon as he saw that it was on sale, he knew he had to just get it and do it on stream. Can I ask, are, are we at the point, will the, I, I don't know what all your notes are, Tony. 
is this actually proven to be for real bathwater that she's selling? There's a lot of people who have said that they think that she just bottled like normal water and sold it. There is stuff in the water, like stuff from bath bombs and so on. Right. So it's more of a, like, did she get in the bath and do all this? Did she, like, was she actually a part of that? Uh, there was this big thing where people were like, oh, there's no DNA in the water. There's no way that she was actually part of it. And I bet you can't guess what website started that rumor. Is it the Daily Mail? No, it was 4chan. Oh. They claimed to be a bunch of uh, microbiologists and, like, that they weren't able to find anything in these bottles. And it's like, yeah, the 4chan, super trustworthy source. Somehow Honestly, that though, that's got to be one of the sites. nicest thing 4chan has ever done is claiming that this girl <laughs> actually didn't bathe in the water that she sent out to the weird, like, obsessed fans that she has. I think it's not. Well, that, no, they probably spun it as like she cheated you guys. I mean, it they was, have caught pedophiles before. Yeah. That's a bigger thing. But I, I'm not 100% sure if it's ever been, like, fully confirmed. I know that she's taking a lot of videos of her making the bathwater, so there's more of a chance of it being real. And like, uploaded I, to Pornhub, I assume? No. Like, uploaded to her Patreon. She keeps all those oh, behind the okay. paywall. Probably the strangest thing I saw anyone claim to do was to vape the water. YouTuber Vito Gusaldi claimed to have acquired the bathwater and put it in his vape pen. Later, it was revealed that he was just outright, outright lying about this, but now I'm wondering if anybody has put that in their vape. I don't even know how vapes work as far as, like, what kind of liquids you can stick in there and how they would turn them into a gas, so... You would definitely want to put it in there with I, some of the, like, the fluid from your tobacco products. I don't think you could put much in there before it would just not work, but I don't know enough about how, like, those hardcore vapes that, like, put out room size clouds work the whole like sticky cotton subculture of vaping is foreign to me also a few people have posted about being dumped by their significant others after buying the bathwater. apparently there were a lot of non-understanding girlfriends who didn't like that they were buying bathwater from a 19 year old girl that's just a dumb move that really is you got a person irl loves you you know i let's ostensibly you know hanging out with you doing stuff with you and you're like but the person online who i've never met that's the one i want <laughs> that's a super bad idea yeah it's it's just not good i whenever i heard about it i was like i wonder if that would be worth it just for the novelty of having it on a shelf and then i was like no not 30 bucks worth it especially since it's in the uk so you had to pay a bunch of extra for shipping to get it here yeah, and then you put it on the shelf and, you know, bring girls back to your place and you're like, you see that? You know what that is. And then <laughs> you're alone for that night. Yeah, but if they're into it, then you know you found the one. Apparently. I Apparently. <laughs> I found the one and I can tell you she would not be into it. <laughs> I don't begrudge Belle for selling her bathwater. If you can literally turn water into cash, then you might as well. The world belongs to those who hustle. And she obviously knows what she's doing. This was something where she just, on a on a random idea, probably made thousands of dollars and gave fans what they wanted, even if it is weird, even if it is creepy. So I'm not saying that what she did was a bad idea on like a, a business perspective. Maybe on a moral perspective, you could say it's weird, but it's still just bathwater. It's not, it's not like some of the other things that porn stars are selling. <laughs> So I I don't know. I don't think that that's the bad idea. I think the worship of her, the buying of bathwater and everything else is the bad idea here. And especially the drinking of her bathwater. Live in the real world, folks. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Find a like girl that you perfect, can actually like, get in the bath with. But it's better than being alone with the bottle of somebody else's bathwater. <laughs> but you can smell her. No. That's going to do it for bad ideas this week. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you enjoyed this for some strange reason, <laughs> you should consider going over to our Patreon where we do not have a bathwater tier, Tony. We will add know, it. We could probably no. add it if there, there's listen, enough demand. We are also willing to do basically anything to make enough money to continue <laughs> surviving. Um, but you can go over there and help support the podcast. Uh, if you like the show, you can subscribe and see the rest of these as they come out. We're making new ones every week, and we will see you guys next time. Yep, and if you wanted to drop an idea like this, 
badideashow at gmail.com. Bye, everybody. Bye.